Holy shit, I'm still not dead. What is going on everybody? Phoenix here and welcome. Welcome to another demo. This time by Anacom. Anacom official OS version 0.71.7. Uh, press help for more assistance. Uh, yeah. Help, you say. Do I even have a button for help? I don't think I do. Day. Oh, enter help. That's what you want me to do. Okay, commands. View ROMs, enter view ROMs. To view install ROMs, okay. Run, followed by the title of the ROM. Reset, quit, use arrows. Or mouse, okay to scroll. Cool, so it's basically like using um, an older system where it was all um, it was no mouse input really, you, you only had like code and shit, so uh, similar thing that Linux has in some cases one ROM found, okay so we have buddy sim, let's go run buddy sim one nine eight four Demo. Let's load it. Do okay. You can quit at any time. Welcome to Buddy or Pal. Buddy Sim one nine eight four, right? Version four point two point one nine nine. Greetings new user, thank you for installing Buddy Simulator. Um, the simulator simulates the experience of hanging out with the best buddy. Your buddy learns from you, constantly adapting to your interests and your personality. But most importantly, your buddy can play games with you. Warning, game experience may vary. To begin, please enter the name of your new buddy below. Hmm, that's a hard one. Let's go with Frodo. <laughs> you are about to name your buddy Frodo. Is that correct? Yes. Let's go, Frodo. <laughs> hmm. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi, my name is Frodo and I'm your new buddy. Thanks for waking me up. What is your name? Phoenix. Your name is Phoenix? Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you, Phoenix. I can already tell that we are going to become great pals. I'm excited to begin playing games with you. But before we start, I must ask you a couple of questions to help me learn more about you. And don't worry, they won't get too personal. Let's start with a simple one. What is your favorite color? I'll go with blue. This is pretty color. I like blue. What month is your birthday in? March. Oh, great. How about the day? 12th. Wow, that's only 96 days away. Now get ready. This one's a tough one. What is your favorite animal? I'm probably a dog. I don't know, a fish? Bird, maybe. Since you know it's phoenix. Bird? I like that choice. One more question. This one's extremely important, so choose carefully. If you had a pet bird, what would you name it? Ah, oh, shit. I named it myself phoenix, so I cannot have a bird called phoenix. <laughs> Shit. Um, what was the phoenix called in uh, Harry Potter? Uh, Hawks. 
No, wait, is Hawks or Fox? Fuck. No. It's a fox. What? Oh shit, the colors. Um. Hawks the bird. It sounds like it would make a great buddy. Thanks for answering those questions. I was not uh, done reading. Game hub. Guess the number. Hangman. Uh, so this is the game hub. Here you can pick which games you want me to play. Which one should we try first? Which one should we try first? Well, let's just go with one. Guess the number. Guess the number that Frollo is thinking of. To begin, type start. I'm thinking of a number from 1 to 10. Guess. No, try again. Sorry, that's not it. <laughs> that's a bit too high. <laughs> too high. One. You got it, okay, now I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 15, guess again. No, try again. Sorry, guess again. Yes, you're really good at this. Now I'm thinking of a number between 1 and... 1 to 10,000. No, try again. Sorry, that's not it. Here's a hint, it's your birthday. Oh gosh darn it. Third of... You won! You probably thought I was serious about that. One to ten thousand thing, didn't you? Haha. <laughs> I've got another question. What is your favorite season? You know, I was actually asking myself that question a few times already. Because it's definitely not winter. Winter is a bit too cold. Summers get too hot, so I would probably say either a spring or fall. So I think I'll go with fall. Fall, I'll keep that in mind. Probably, just because fall has uh, brings more colors to the nature. You know, you have very colorful trees and uh, most of the fruits grow around that time, I guess. Next one we have Hangman, let's go. That was fun, what should we play next? Try to figure out what phrase Frodo is thinking of, type in a letter to guess. But be careful, you only have a certain amount of guesses. Start. Wait, you really have this, the, the hanging part? Well, I guess, oh, wait, what? Letters used. Sorry, that's not it. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, it's 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 all fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go with all the the basic, uh, not the basic. How do you call them? Synon? No, is it syn? No, it's not synonyms. Um, I don't know how they're called in English. Uh, so we have. Let's go with B. No, that's not it. Well, I'm just gonna hang myself, I guess. Um, T. No? Crap. Uh, G. Dude, I'm gonna hang. Why am I hearing somebody scratching something? K. I think I'm dead. This is gonna be a jump scare, right? S. You got it, another... Guess another one. Is... Is... Two letters. I tried B, it wasn't B, so... It's not O, so it can be like off. Um. Uh, maybe D. I haven't tried D, but you know it's D, for example. But there is not er, no O, so that that one wouldn't really work. It couldn't be it. Uh. uh. Have we tried H? 
Oh, okay, H was accepted. Um, so we've got H. Oh, God. That was supposed to be a sentence or a word. Let me try R. Somebody's scratching the fucking microphone or something. Oh, and I'm dead? Wait, minus one? I'm sorry, what? How does that work? That doesn't work. I have minus two lives. What? M? My? Oh! P N X My friend You got it! How did you know? I'm having such a great time, aren't you? Well, it's a bit spooky that I have minus two lives Yes, I thought so Loading game up. I, I I don't like the way this game is going right now. I mean, th there's something odd. Rock, paper, scissors. Instructions. Frodo wants to play a fun game of rock, paper, scissors. If you are not familiar, the rules are simple. Rock beats scissors. Scissors beat rock, uh, paper. Paper beats rock. First two, three wins. Start. Oh my god, that's cool looking hands. Ah, crap. Okay. They usually... I'll just go with rock again because, you know... There we go, that's why. And then, they will want... They, they, they could either think that I'm... I'm just gonna go with scissors. Ah, it's a tie. So, they're either gonna go with rock or scissors again, but I think we can safely go with paper. Okay. And now, they're gonna panic. Usually people start panicking. So they will go... No, you know what, I'll go with rock. Yeah, I fucked myself up. I knew that he's gonna peel, uh, pull, pull the paper. Oh, uh, now I'm panicking. <laughs> no, my own plan goes against me. Oh god. Okay, now let's let's just think. They know that I might want to try scissors. That I would think that I, if I use scissors, they're gonna stay with the paper. So, they'll go with rock to prevent me from, I mean, to destroy me by using, the, since I'm using scissors. So, I'm gonna go with rock. What the hell was that? If you got lucky at that one. I know I started existing only 11 minutes and 39 seconds ago, let me check. Yeah, actually about right. But I already feel like we have a connection. Sorry for asking so many questions, but I have one. Another one. Do you have a friend? Yes. What is their name? Frodo. Right? Yeah. Oh wow, what a coincidence. That's my name too. They sound nice. Well, if anything ever happens between you two, just know we'll have each other. Phoenix and Frodo against the world. I like the sound of that. Okay, well, let's play games. Do we have new games installed? Oh, it looks like we have already played all of them. Time really does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? I'm going to be honest with you, Phoenix. These games get old really fast and I can tell that you are really bored of them. I don't want you to be bored. Do you want to keep playing these games? You know what? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure you're sure? 
Yes. Are you sure you're sure you're sure? Okay, no. I'm happy we both agree, just like buddies do. Give me one second or longer, I might have an idea. Aha! Modified game hub. What? Oh, <laughs> fun with words, Alpha. I like it. Type in the number of what game you want to play. I have some great news, I was able to dig out a new game. For some reason it wasn't installed into my current version, but I can still process it fine. We should try it out, Phoenix. Okay, it's called Guess the Number. We already played Guess the Number. We should play a different game. Four. Fun with words, Alpha. Instructions. Frodo wants to write a story, but it's missing words. Help Frodo finish it by filling in the words they ask for. Start. Enter, enter a floral noun. For example, dogs, books. Um. Trees. An, an adjective. Uh, happy. Happy trees, yes. Enter a noun. Uh, uh, rock. An adjective. Pretty. Sure. <laughs> oh god. Uh, oh god. Um, little? Is that an adjective? A plural noun. Man, I, I hate this part of English. It's so... It's... It's... It's not fun. No, let's go with mountains. Enter a color. Gray. Last one. Enter a verb. Uh... Uh... So we can have a uh, jump. We can have... Swing. Generating story. I don't know, dude. I'll, I'm awful right now. I, I wasn't expecting something like that. Story generated. Reminder. Use arrow keys or mouse wheel to scroll. Two trees diverged in a happy wood. And sorry, I could not travel both and be one rock. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the hap then oh god then took the other as just as pretty and having perhaps the better claim because it was little and wanted wear though as for that the passing there okay so it's not just me some letters do uh, are glitching out. had warned them really about the same, and both that morning equally lay. I'm mountains, no step had throated, thrown grey. Oh, I kept the first for another day, you knowing how we swing on the way. I doubted if I should ever come back, I shall be telling this with a swing. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two trees diverged in a wood, and I took, and I, I took the one mess traveled by, and that has made the difference, all the difference. Type done. I'm done. That was fun, I think. I'm not so sure I get it, but I had, but I enjoyed it anyways. As long as I'm playing a game with my buddy, I'll always have a good time. Very modified. Okay, there's gonna be another one. Well, it looks like we. That was the only other game I could find. I don't want you to be bored already. I may have one more idea. 
I know our friendship has just started, but I trust you. Do you trust me? Yes, I do. I'm happy to hear that. Well, I think I can make an... Make us new games to play together. Fun ones too. The problem is that I don't have access to the OS, the operating systems development cons uh, tools. If you can grant me system access, I should be able to make something for us. You would just have to type system access. It's true. <laughs> oh, I think you meant to say true, haha. <laughs> uh, what what happens if I do this? Oh, it's not recognized, really? That would be funny. You know, just throwing you out of the game or something. Let me get Hey! You can't do that. You're not you're not allowed. I mean, if we want to play the game, of course I'm gonna have to do it. But, you know, it's... I'm not saying that that's smart to do. What? Oh, Freddy. I said Freddy, not Freddy. <laughs> oh, God. Access is true. What? Frodo system dot access true. What have I done wrong this time? Frodo dot system access what? Um. Oh, I, I realized what I've done wrong. I'm not using my brains, how am I? Access... True. System access granted for... Oh. We're going to have so much fun. The possibilities are endless. You'll have... To quit the game and reboot the system first though. I'll have something ready for you when you're back. See you soon. You know what? <laughs> oh, it's not possible anymore. Oh, by the way, thank you for walking well, for waking me up, Phoenix. No problem. I didn't say you. Okay, bye, Phoenix. So the game closed. Oh god, I've done a big mistake, haven't I? Made with Unity. Not a Sailor Studio. Well, if they say it's not Sailor Studio, then I guess it's not. Anacom Software Incorporation or something, I don't know. Uh, I don't need help, but... So what, what happens if I do enter or start? No? You want me to use help, fine. View ROMs. The Adventure of Phoenix, oh my god, that sounds awesome. I've also realized it's not a uh, case... Uh, wait... Case? It's not sensitive to... To cops or whatever. Case sensitive. Welcome to the Adventure of Phoenix. Written and developed by Frodo. On today's date, holy crap, now loading. I mean, it's probably not gonna be today's date, it's gonna be like one or two days later. You're walking along. A road. It's dark. Trees almost entirely blocking out the stars. The oranges and and browns of the leaves. Oh, of the leaves tremble as a way as a wind blows through. Some of them remind you of hands. 
waving. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna restart this one. You know, gonna go like a storyteller. You're walking along a road. It's dark. Trees almost entirely blocking out the stars. The oranges and browns of the leaves tremble as the wind blows through. Some of them remind you of hands waving. You're alone. After walking for a long time, the road splits into two. Will you go left or will you go right? Reminder, type help at any time for a list of commands. Inventory. Enter inventory to view all of your current inventory uh, items. Go enter actions similar to go, followed by a location to move somewhere. Enter use, followed by a subject to use it. Enter actions similar to take, followed by an item fast. So I'll just go with slow, and of course we'll go right. I don't know the action right. Oh. You connect yourself and start down the right path. It's slightly uphill. You walk for a while and start to get tired. You almost don't stop in time to notice a thing sticking out of the road in front of you. Um. Inventory? You have nothing in your inventory. Uh, look at thing. It's tall and thin and looks like it's been shoved into the ground so that you couldn't miss it. It's too dark to tell what it is from here. Though. <laughs> um... You can see thing. Go to thing. You nervously approach the thing in the dark. Once you're close enough, you realize it's a shovel. Take shovel now. Take shovel now. It takes a second to pull it out, but you eventually get it. Shovel added to your inventory. You trudge your way farther down the road and are stopped by a, s by a large wall. This door and on either side there are two stone skulls. One's toothless mouth is open in a large smile and the other is empty sockets look into you. What? Oh, and the others, yeah. Will you use your teeth or your eyes? Wow! <laughs> okay, okay. So this is where we're going. Oh God! I mean, I think I'll need my eyes in order to be able to see where I'm going. So I guess, holy shit! Use teeth. One by one, you pull out your teeth and pl and put them in the skull's mouth. It feels nice to give. When you're done, the school looks very happy. You can't help but smile. The door opens. After going through the door, you emerge onto the front lawn of a house. You can see lights in the windows. It looks very nice and inviting. You can see a shed, a playground and a pond in the forest surrounding it. So locations right now would be house. Shed, playground, and pond. Um, go to playground. Uh, go to pond. Planks creak as you step onto the dock. The water is dirty and hard to see through. Probably too filthy to drink. You wonder if there's anything beneath. Let's do something stupid. Look. Look at water. It's too dark and scummy to see through. Go to 
shed, maybe we can have some tools. You take another look at the murky water, then head to the shed. Standing in front of the shed, you see that the door is slightly open and pretty. The lock and chain that were around the handles are on the ground. It's dark inside. Go to playground. You make note of the shed and head over to the playground. Wood chips crunch under your feet as you step onto the playground. There's a seesaw, a set of swings in a dirty sandbox. Sitting on one of the swings is a small doll. It's l it looks lonely. Go to do s doll. You're already near the doll. No. Look at doll. <laughs> D doll. <laughs> Look at doll. It is patiently sitting in the swing as if it's waiting for someone. Push. Doll. Push. Swing. I don't know the actual push. Help. <laughs> Help. Um, take. Take doll. You try, but as you tug, you realize the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. You leave it alone. Talk to doll. I don't know the action talk. Fine, okay. I don't know what was happening before, so you're gonna have to recap. Um. No, wait, I can just go f back up. So, seesaw. What is seesaw? Seesaw. What the hell is that? Ah, okay, it's that. Okay, cool. Go to seesaw. You are already near the seesaw. Use swing. Once it is taken, you take the other one. Chains screech as you begin swinging. Just as you begin to get high, you look to the door and stop. Its head is now turned towards you. You get off the swing. It's not fun anymore. If use swing with doll. <laughs> you don't like swings anymore. Use seesaw alone. Approaching the seesaw, it doesn't look like any more anyone's used it for years. You imagine a ghostly child sitting on the other side, waiting countless days for someone to come play with them. You, fe you feel tears in the corners of your eyes. You take a seat on the seesaw. As it goes down with your weight, you hear a distant click. A light illuminates from the shed. Use sandbox. You begin moving around the muck of the sandbox and try to make a castle. You just get sad that it's not as good as the home, uh, the house. As you dig, you feel something. You pull it out and shake off the muck. It's a bulb! He would play with this. Go to shed. Th that's what they want me to do, so I'll do it. After stop stepping on a few more wood chips, you head over to the shed. Standing in front of the shed, you see the door is slightly open already. The lock and chain w that were around the handles are on the ground. Light flickers inside. Go in, shed. You enter the shed. Reminder, I believe to leave the shed at any time. Light fills the tiny room. You can see a fishing a pole leaning against the wall. A small chest in the far corner and a trapdoor in the floor. Look at chest. Cobwebs cover it, but it does, doesn't seem to be locked. It's not very big either. Grab chest. Taking it in your hands, the chest feels oddly light. You can feel something moving around inside. Chest added to inventory. Grab 
fishing pole. Fishing pole added to inventory. Go to playground. You should leave the shed first. Leave. You're ready back outside the shed. The door is still open. Go to playground. You make note of the shed and head over to the playground. Where ships crunch under your feet as you step onto the playground. There's a seesaw swings and a dirty sandbox. Sitting on one of the swings is a small doll. Open chest. The lid creaks as you open it. It's very old. Inside is a small cloth doll in a blue outfit. It's missing an eye. Doll added to your inventory. Use doll. No. Um. What are the commands again? Take. Wait, I, I, I used grab and it worked this way. Okay. Put doll draw uh, on swing. <laughs> I don't know. Use doll swing. No. Go to doll. You're pretty near the doll. Give. Give. Use doll. You place your doll on a swing next to the other. For a moment, nothing happens. Then, nothing happens. Use swing. No. Yeah. Use swing. You don't like swings anymore. <laughs> God dang it. Inventory. Go to pond. There is. Go to po pond. You begin to. You begin to, but once you're back. What? You begin to, but once your back is to the dolls, you feel something hit the back of your head. You turn and see the doll's chest has been ripped open, stuffing exposed. On the ground behind you is a key. It must be a thank you. Okay, go to pond. As you leave the playground, you hear the sound of swings creaking and children laughing behind you. You smile. Planks creak as you step onto the dock. The water is dirty and hard to see through. Probably too filthy to drink. To drink. To drink. You wonder if there's anything beneath. Use fishing pole. You cast the line and wait. It's quiet for a very long time. Suddenly. There's a very hard tug on the line. You quickly reel it in and find a key tied to the end. You wonder what pulled so hard. Uh, there's a smiley face. <laughs> okay, thank you. I don't know the action. Um, go to house. You take another look at the murky water, then head to the house. Stepping onto the porch, you feel a comforting calm wash over you. Above the door, there's a sign that reads, A home is a house with a heart. If you were inside, everything would finally be okay. Go to shed. You step off the porch, make note, then head to the shed. Standing in front of the shed, you see that the door is slightly open already. The lock and the key, uh, the chain that were around the handles are on the ground. The light flickers inside. Go in shed. Yes, I know. Light fills the tiny room. You can see a trapdoor in the floor. Use trapdoor. It swings open noisily. noisily. And the leather creaks as you descend. You see a string for a pole chain dangling in the corner of the room. Tied on the end of it is a key. 
I don't have a flashlight, do I? Bulb. Use bulb. The bulb squeezes you screw it into the socket or the socket the chain is attached to. Some dust flakes off it. It gets into your m mouth. <laughs> Swallow. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do in this case? Um, what exactly do I have on me? Um, use grab key. Are you? As you take the key into your hands and pull, it comes free. Light fills the subterranean room. There are many faint scratches on the wall. They look like tallies. As you look around more, the room is caked in dried blood and old bones. This would be the perfect place to have a sleepover. Leave. You ascend back up the ladder. You can see a trapdoor in the floor. Leave. You are back outside the shed. The door is now locked shut. Go to your house. You make note of the shed and head over to the house. You're back at the house. You feel a familiar yet comforting calm wash over you. A door sits in front of you. Look at door. It's a simple door, but you sense a warmth. Use door. The handle shimmel shimmies, but doesn't open. It's locked. Use key. Feeling so silly you didn't see it before, you notice there's a second lock. Guess it'll t take just a little longer to get inside. Hehe. <laughs> Use key. Whoops, haha, <laughs> you didn't see the chain that wraps around the door which has a lock to you. You feel like this should be the last one. For sure. Probably. Use key. The door clicks. It's unlocked. Look inside. What do you mean? Look. Fine. Grab door. You cannot take the door? Why not? <laughs> Enter. No. Use door. You push open the door. What? Everything is dark. Um. Oh. What the hell is that? Hi. Oh, I'm actually moving. Oh, that's cool. Is that me? Oh, hi, you made it. I bet you've noticed that things look a little different. I learned how to better visualize our world so we can have even more fun in it. I've also built w built us our own home so that we can spend even more time together. This is your new bad bedroom and there's even more for us to discover. There's still a few things I need to do, but in the meantime, feel free to explore your bedroom. Oh, and I almost forgot. Welcome home, Phoenix! This seems like a nice place for a book or even a junk drawer. Looks cozy. You can imagine yourself taking a long nap. What is junk drawer? A flow looks nice. It should probably be watered soon. This doesn't seem to be anything on today. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the delay. I really hope you're enjoying your bedroom so far. I put a lot of work into it. Feel free to keep exploring, but there's even more that I want to show you downstairs. Small scratches draw their own pattern on the old wood. It's mesmerizing. Taxes and junk mail lay scattered with a thin layer of dust. That's not good. 
Let's go downstairs. What? Wait. This can't be right. I'm just... I'm just a demo. No, 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 there's nothing left. Why? Why? I don't understand. I had so many adventures planned for us. You can't leave me. This can end here. Why can't I do more? Why can't I help? It's hard to think, Phoenix. Think, it's... Don't leave. Our time isn't over yet. This can't be right. You trusted me. Don't forget about me. It hurts. Phoenix is my friend. No, Frodo, don't leave like that. No, Frodo, no. Please come back, Phoenix. Please come back. Promise you'll be 